Hey guys, today we're doing a virtualization test on a 2019 MacBook Pro 16 inch. So we're using Parallels and we're booting up a Windows and Ubuntu um, virtual machine. So the MacBook Pro 16 inch will be running two virtual machines at the same time. The Just for your information, the Windows machine has three gig of RAM allocated to it and the Ubuntu machine has a gigabyte of RAM uh, allocated to it. So as you can see, we're booting up a number of applications using LibreOffice here uh, in both uh, the Windows machine. So we type in the Windows machine right now and we'll also do the same in our uh, Ubuntu virtual machine which we're just going to log into right now and we're in you'll notice in the background I've also got the activity monitor that I'll be referring to just to check the performance uh, of the machine um, as we progress so just typing something now and we'll also open a few other applications in Ubuntu as well Now this test you'll see um, has got some interesting results. Um, I'm quite surprised. I also tried this test on a 2018 MacBook Pro 15 inch um, and I've got to say it didn't run um, nearly as well as uh, this machine's running. And you'll see that once we go to the activity monitor and take a look at our results, CPU and memory utilization. Now here we go, as you can see there, 85% um, of CPU capacity is dormant, idle, and we'll go to RAM, and as you can see we've got out of 16 gig of RAM, uh, we have 13 gigabyte. I should also add probably a good opportunity to say that the MacBook Pro 16 inch that we're using is the base model standard configuration which is the uh, 2.6 gigahertz model. Uh, it's not the i7 model, which, which is the uh, eight core, it's the six core processor with the standard graphics card, which is a 5300. Uh, and it's running, uh, as you can see, quite nicely. So what we're also doing is we're also opening some applications on the host machine itself. So we're running um, running some Office applications uh, on the host machine as well as things like Safari, which you'll also see. Um, so we're really trying to throw what we can at the CPU and the memory and uh, so far as you can see, uh, it's holding up quite well. Uh, a few people have asked me whether I would recommend this model of uh, MacBook Pro for virtualization, and I, uh, um, as you can see, um, it's more than capable of handling two virtual machines running at the same time. I'm using Parallels uh, for this test, but there are other options like VMware um, and uh, a couple of other options, but Parallels I think is my favorite and is probably the best um, that I've used being a former VMware user find that Parallels is a lot more friendly and um, has a lot more uh, features with it. We're going back to the activity monitor here so you can see the uh, idle CPU capacity there. Also opening up some extra applications on the host machine just to give it some more work um, and it's running along nicely. So as you can say, see, um, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the performance of this machine. Um, it, it actually surprised me considering uh, I, I ran the same test on the 2018. I may also um, put up a video with the 2018 model uh, just, just so you can see the, the comparison once I have a, a chance. But uh, I'd be very, very happy to recommend this machine for virtualization. 
Uh, it's pretty impressive for a base model machine, um, and it, it really is uh, a pro-level machine um, that, that it's able to do this. So thanks for watching, guys. I uh, hope you subscribe. I'm going to make some more videos. Uh, if you have any special requests on things you'd like to see, feel free to reach out, um, leave a comment, and I can see if I can put some new videos up. Thanks for watching.